they have brilliant strategies and they they have the funding and the resources to execute their strategies and that's that was part of the strategy was that the Republicans will not make a serious challenge to this guy because they don't want to be, uh, you know, the, the party that impeached a, a black president. Well, they ought, to, they ought to go down in history as the party that impeached the first red president. Because you know, so, General, he's red. You know this man. You you, you were in, in intelligence in, in the military. You know this guy's a commie. Well, if, if he I, isn't, if he isn't a commie, I mean, he's the, he's the closest thing I've ever seen to a a, a Marxist communist in the White House, and we have a I revolution have taking place. About that. Look at who he's been, who who he's surrounded himself with, uh, all of which are Marxists. I mean, they're hardcore Marxists. Well, people say, what's the difference between Marxism and communism? Well, you, you know, it's really essentially the same. It's just when you declare athe, you know that you're officially an atheist society. Then you, you're officially a communist up to up to the point that you uh, do that. You you probably fall more on the side of being a Marxist. But I think that you have to look objectively at the policies of the administration and realize that they are right out of um, uh, you know uh, Karl Marx's book, uh, the Communist Manifesto. He uh, he outlines exactly how you move a society to being Marxist, and we're doing it. We're doing all of those things with the redistribution of wealth and and the uh, suppressing the opposition and and uh, you know infringing on freedom of speech and so forth. Go go down the line. Mm-hmm. You see it all. Uh, Alexander Golitsyn, uh, a Soviet defector, wrote the book Perestroika Deception. Published in 1995, he said in 1959, 1960, the Soviet Union adopted a plan to capture the mind, the mindset of the West and transform it into a Marxist communist mindset. And he said perestroika uh, would be used to deceive the West, that they would put down their 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 guard and accept the it's essentially brainwashing um, that book is eerily prophetic, General, because we're we're like living it out in real time right now. Yeah, we are. He saw. I mean, look, he saw it coming, and he understood the mentality of the uh, of you know the Marxist model, so to speak. He understood that, and uh, and and we are seeing it unfold right now. You know, the, a lot of people don't understand that things like uh, gun control. That's all part of the Marxist model, for example. Um, and this, I remember when the 2009 memo came out identifying future threats as being right-wing Christian groups, pro-life groups, Second Amendment groups, and returning veterans. What was that all about as part of the Marxist model? It's all about alienating uh, and discrediting the very people that might stand up and fight against these kinds of things. And so there, we are following that model uh, pretty rigidly, and and then you look at class warfare. I mean, we're divided into so many classes today. That's what the Occupy Wall Street was, 99% against the 1%. They're, it's creating the class warfare that Karl Marx wrote about in the Communist Manifesto and then pitting them against each other under the concept of one side being the proletariat and the other side being the bourgeoisie. Uh, which is also a false narrative. You know, where's the middle class and all of that? Is somebody using psyops on the American people? Absolutely. There's more influence operations going on in this country. First of all, the, the Islamists are, are are running an influence campaign, trying to change our thinking. And 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 look, you saw the evidence of that when the president stood up last week and said, "ISIS is not Islam." You know, that's an influence campaign. That's influence and that's brainwashing of the American people trying to get them to believe that nonsense. But you see that also with the Marxists. The Marxists are doing exactly the same thing. And then, the look, the LGBT lobby is doing the same thing. They're b- bombarding us with this, you know, with this messaging that is really about changing our, our the way we think, changing our attitudes. You know, it's called marriage equality. Brilliant strategy. The, commu- the communists always said that they would they would change the meaning of words. 
absolutely, and they're doing it. They're they're masters at it, and we're we 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 don't fight back very effectively.